If you're about to take your first microeconomics midterm and feel like you're about to fail it, I'm a tutor and this is what you gotta know about the supply shifters. And real quick before we get started here, if you need me to teach you this entire class, I can in about three hours. Click the link in my bio to get started with my free 95 core concept breakdowns that just step-by-step -step walk you through everything you need to know. All right, first shifter here is expected future prices. As a producer, like imagine that you are selling a good to the market. If you expect the price of your good to fall in the future, well, that's gonna increase your current supply of the good. We'll shift the curve to the right because as a producer, you're gonna to wanna to sell now before price falls in the future. And on the flip side here, if the price of your good is expected to rise in the future, well then you're, you're gonna hold back your supply a little bit right now and in turn will shift supply to the left. Remember, think of increases in supply as shifts to the right and decreases as shifts to the left. If you think of them as up or down, you'll get it flipped. All right, next up here is cost of inputs. As a producer, if the inputs that you use to create your good become more expensive, well, then you're not gonna be able to supply as much of it to the market. And in turn, your supply of the good will decrease. We'll shift it to the left. And on the flip side here, if the cost of your inputs decrease and it essentially becomes cheaper for you to produce the good, well, then you're gonna be able to supply more units to the market at the same price levels as before. So we'll shift supply to the right. All right, next up here, technology. If better technology becomes available for you to output more units of the good, and be more efficient doing so, well then we're gonna shift supply to the right. You're able to output more units of the good at the same prices as before because the technology is making you more efficient. Whereas on the flip side here, if technology worsens, like good example, this is like a natural disaster hits and now you don't have as much tech at your disposal, well supply is going to shift to the left. It's now more expensive for you to output as many units as before. All right, next up your number of sellers. This one's pretty easy. If more sellers enter the market, we're gonna shift supply to the right. Simply put, because there's there's more people selling the good. And on the flip side, if sellers leave the market, well then we'll shift supply to the left. Inverse reason here. There's now less people selling the good. All right, lastly here, government intervention. This is kind of a two-parter here with taxes versus subsidies. Let's start with taxes here. If the government increases their taxes on producers, that's going to decrease supply of the good. Similar to cost of inputs here. It's just now more expensive for producers to output as many units of the good. And in turn, they'll have to pull back their supply. And on the inverse, here, if the government decreases their taxes on producers, that will increase supply. Because now it's less costly for the firms to produce as many units as before. They can output more units at the same price levels as before. All right, the inverse of taxes are subsidies. If the government increases their subsidies on producers, well, that's going to increase supply of the good. Because essentially what this means is that the government is funneling money to producers to encourage them to output more units of the good. The government increasing their subsidies will shift supply to the right. 